So again, we're going to divide here. This one's asking us to write the division statement. As far as our setup goes, our divisor is x plus 2. We're going to write this in order from the highest degree to the lowest. So we start with a degree of 4, then a degree of 3. Notice that there's no x squared. So when we write it, we put a 0 in. So the order was right, but there was one that was missing. So since there was no x squared, we write a 0x squared, and that's going to be important you're going to see once we go through the process. So we pick a different color. Our first term is a 3x to the 4. What would you have to multiply by? 3x cubed. So that would go over this column. When you multiply it, sure enough, you get 3x to the 4. 3x cubed times 2 is plus 6x cubed. Put it in brackets and subtract. This will be 0. This will be negative 7x cubed. What's going to happen to most of you, if not all of you, at some time, you're going to make some mistake adding or subtracting. With all those negatives there, you're going to make a silly mistake. So when you check your answer at the back and it's not right, you should go back and just check all your adding and subtracting. Yes? It's going to really show up in the next step. Okay? So I'm going to write everything else down, 0x squared plus 3x minus 20. So now my biggest one is negative 7x cubed. I'm going to switch colors again. What would I have to multiply x plus 2 by to get negative 7x cubed? Negative 7x squared. So part of the reason we wanted that 0 there was so that we had a column to write the negative 7x squared over top of. Another reason we need that 0x squared there is when I multiply this out, I'm going to get negative 7x cubed, and negative 7 times 2 is negative 14x squared. And I needed that 0 there, so when I subtract, well, negative 7 minus negative 7, that's 0. But what 0 minus negative 14? 14x squared. And then bring the other ones down. Switch colors again in order to get a 14x squared. I need a 14x. So again, every time you finish one number, you get a new number that's your large one. And then 14x times x will be 14x squared. 14x times 2 is plus 28x. I'm going to need to subtract. 14 minus 14 is 0. 3 minus 28, negative 25. Bring down the 20. Another color. You have to multiply by negative 25. Negative 25 times x is negative 25x. Negative 25 times the 2 is negative 50. You're going to subtract. Negative 20 minus a negative 50 is positive 30. That's going to be your remainder. The last thing we need to do is write our division statement. So the polynomial that we started with was 3x to the 4 minus x cubed. Plus 3x minus 20. So when you're writing the division statement, you don't need to add that 0 in there. It's not wrong if you do. Equals, we divided by x plus 2. We got as an answer 3x cubed minus 7x squared plus 14x minus 25. And then our remainder was 30. Wow, that's a bad 30. Did I get all my pluses and minuses right? No. This is plus. This one was minus. So this is our polynomial. This is what we divided by. This was our answer plus our remainder.
questions you can do for this one are 3b and 7.